Indemnity. One other important weight that is applicable in all insurances is indemnity. The insurance will put you in the same position that you were before the damage. Indemnity means that now, if it happens that a particular property or your particular assets is damaged, an insurance company will not give you anything that is more than the value of that particular asset. That is basically what we mean by indemnity. So you must remain in a financial position that you were before this uh, event took place. So the insurance company will only compensate up to the level where you were before that particular occurrence happened. So the principle of security also. Then we are looking at the money that is provided to the insurer on retirement. It's also work as the, as the security. When you invest money now, then you put in the money aside so that when you get on retirement, then you will be able. So we are also going to discuss endowment policies as part of the investment and also they serve as security so that when you die or when you go on pension, you have something that you can still survive on whilst you are not, you are not working. The money is provided to the deceased dependent in case of a life insurance. The security now means there were an investment that was put aside and then it happens that you die. So when you die, the money that was put aside will still be given to the, to the family or it is given to the, to the dependents. Now, this is the principle of security. This applies only in insecurity. So it means the money was used as the security for your dependent. The money is used as security for your dependent. Now, this is a practical example of putting a person to the position where the person was before the damage took place. If you've got a 610 Lumia, it means if it is stolen, you cannot get something that is more of value to the 610, which is a 92. You cannot get 92. Rather, you will still receive the same 610, and you will not receive anything beyond there. That is basically what we mean in the position of indemnity. You are indemnified, and therefore you cannot be able to get anything beyond that. So one other principle of security is, as a person who insure a particular property, you may not be allowed to make any profit out of any insurance. When you invest in a form of insurance, you cannot get anything that is more than what you have insured. So it means you cannot be able to make any profit out of any insurance. There's no way that a person or an individual would make a profit out of the, out of the insurance. So it is very difficult. This is but just a practical example. Uh, you cannot insure a 610 and then you get yourself a 90 and 92. So let's briefly analyze an average clause. A practical example of the clauses. One example is the average clause. An average clause would always apply when the particular property was underinsured. If the property is underinsured, it means that the property is not insured for its full value. If it is underinsured, it simply means that now it is not insured for its full value. If it's not insured for its full value, you cannot be expected to get anything at the end of the, uh, the claim because when you claim for it, you will only be able to be compensated up to the level where you were paying premiums. So you cannot get a full, uh, um, what do you call, we cannot get a full claim on that particular property. You cannot get a full uh, uh, payment in terms of the damage that happened there. They will apply the average clause. Applying an average clause means they will start calculating how much did you insure the property for. And doing the calculations means that they will be able now to get to get exactly how much you must you must get so it's more important also to look into the um, example of the formula that is applied in the average clause so summarily we can say the payment of the insurance claim 
will be according to the value in short. That is why I said you cannot get anything beyond that. If you are in short for the full value, then you will be paid a full claim only if you were in short for the full for the full value. If you are not in short for the full value, it means you are under in short. The highlighted one under in short. It is not in short for its full value. So you will be paid out a portion of the value in short, a certain portion, not the whole amount that you insured the property for because you were not paying the premium according to the according to the value of an asset. The premium will be determined by also the value of an asset. So it means you were not paying that premium according to the full value. So therefore, you are not going to get uh, paid or your claim will not be paid in full. So this is basically what is applicable to the, to the average clause. So take this one and be able now to distinguish between reinstatement and the average clause. This clause applies only when the property is under insured. Then there will be a calculation and then we look into the formula. I will be able to provide you with the formula so that you can understand exactly how do we calculate if the property was under, if the property was under, under insured. So in a minute, I want us now to take a break once more. And then immediately after the break, we shall continue with some other aspects in terms of the insurance clauses also. We will also be looking at the ion safe clause. We will still be looking into the, the uh, reinstatement also as one of the clauses that we, we apply in the insurance. So I would like us now to take a short break and then we will come back and we continue after the break. Thank you very much.